The M142 HIMARS, or High Mobility Artillery Rocket Systems, delivered by the US to Ukraine is believed to become the game-changing weapon in conflict against Russia. The US announced on the 20th of July that it was going to send four more HIMARS to Ukraine, which would bring the total number to 16, with the aim of eventually reaching 20. On New Year's Day, Ukraine used HIMARS rockets to kill a significant number of Russian soldiers within its territory. According to Russian authorities, the attack resulted in the deaths of 89 military personnel, while Ukrainian authorities claimed that the number of casualties is in the hundreds. This represents one of the deadliest assaults by using HIMARS. So why is HIMARS so effective? Here is an overview of what you need to know about HIMARS rockets and why they have become crucial for Ukraine's military operations in the war. HIMARS is produced by Lockheed Martin and is a wheeled platform instead of tracks. This distinctive feature gives it the ability to shoot and scoot, allowing soldiers, marines, and allied forces to fire and then quickly relocate to a different spot. The unpredictable nature of warfare requires flexibility, and HIMARS shines in this aspect due to its lightweight design, making it easy to move around. It can even be deployed from large aircraft like the C-130, allowing for rapid action in remote and difficult environments. As a result, HIMARS can provide artillery support in key regional locations that are critical for Ukraine. HIMARS can be used with a variety of precision munitions with a range from 9 miles to 310 miles. This includes the full range of multiple launch rocket system MLRS munitions, such as the Extended Range Guided MLRS, Precision Strike Missile PRSM, and Army Tactical Missile System ATACMS. The basic guided multiple launch rocket system has a range of 43 miles, but a newly developed extended range version can reach up to double that distance. The Army Tactical Missile System, which has a larger diameter, has a maximum range of 186 miles. The upcoming Precision Strike Missile, set to be available in 2023, is lighter and can reach up to 310 miles. The main reason why HIMARS rockets are very effective for Ukraine is because they have proven to be highly successful in the fight against Russia's aggression in Donbass. At that attack, the HIMARS have enabled Ukraine to target Russian supply and ammunition depots. According to reports, with just eight HIMARS launchers, which became operational in Ukraine on June 25th, Ukraine has successfully destroyed Russian ammunition storage sites, control centers, and air defense systems. Each launcher is equipped with six tubes carrying standard GMLRS, or Guided Multiple Launch Rocket Systems rockets, which have a range of between 50 to 75 miles. As of the 16th of July, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry reported that at least 30 supply centers located deep within Russian territory have been destroyed. A week later, sources from the U.S. Pentagon reported that 100 significant targets have been hit. These attacks have disrupted Russia's plans. It is known that Moscow's control over the eastern regions of Luhansk and Donetsk was largely due to their superior firepower concentration. Ukrainian soldiers who withdrew from these fronts reported being unable to defend themselves and could only take cover. By targeting Russian logistics centers using HIMARS, Ukraine has undermined the source of Russia's strength. Additionally, the HIMARS played a crucial role in Russia's withdrawal from Kyrgyzstan. George Baros, an analysis on the Russian and Ukraine portfolio at the Institute of the Study of War, states that this was only possible due to Ukraine's extended strike capability provided by the HIMARS, and without it, the liberation of Kyrgyzstan may not have been achieved. The U.S.-made M142 HIMARS system has impacted Russia's progress and therefore has become the preferred effective weapon on NATO's eastern flank. Another reason why the US M142 HIMARS is so effective on the ground in Ukraine is because of its ability to launch six GPS-guided 227mm rockets with a range of 49.7 miles and precision accuracy between 5 to 11 yards. HIMARS has proven its effectiveness and reliability throughout its participation in the joint military exercises such as Valiant Shield and Northern Edge. It was also tested during the U.S. Army's Project Convergence in 2021, where the PRSM was launched at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. With over 1.9 million operating hours, HIMARS has a proven track record of combat reliability, equivalent to over 200 years of operating time, making it a cost-effective solution for ground forces. The dependability of HIMARS is undeniable, and its modular design, which can handle future pod variants, ensures its durability. 
Enhanced range high Mars launchers are also expected to allow the Army to target enemy units further beyond the front lines. The key to HIMARS effectiveness is its accuracy, which is achieved through the inertial navigation system. The system consists of accelerometers and gyroscopes that determine the rocket's exact position relative to the target, resulting in a precision of 10 to 16 feet at maximum range. Constantinos Grievous, an expert in advanced weapons systems at the Hellenic Army Academy, stated that HIMARS and GMLRS provided exceptional strike precision. The systems were created to act as a type of sniper artillery for use in challenging environments, like in Fallujah, Iraq, where accurate targeting is crucial due to the presence of civilians. This allows for quick response to incoming fire from a building within an urban area, with a rocket hitting its target within minutes of the attack from a distance of up to 50 miles. The intelligence network that provides coordinates to the operator of the HIMARS is also crucial and U.S. military officials have disclosed that they have shared this intelligence with Ukraine. The system is highly cost-effective, as individual GMLRS rockets cost around $100,000, while the S-300 anti-air batteries and ammunition depots have been destroyed in Ukraine are worth millions of dollars. In addition, the psychological impact on Russian soldiers knowing that they can be targeted from behind the line of contact is invaluable. However, U.S. officials have stated that there are restrictions placed on the HIMARS rockets provided to Ukraine. They are not allowed to fire ATACMS missiles, which have a range of nearly 200 miles. The U.S. has also sought assurances from Ukraine that the HIMARS systems will not be used to attack Russian territory. Analysis believe that these restrictions are the U.S.'s way to prevent their support for Ukraine escalating to a larger conflict between the U.S. and Russia. In the near future, according to Al Jazeera, the U.S. military is set to introduce a newer and advanced version of the HIMARS rocket, named the Precision Strike Missile, PRSM, with a range of 310 miles. This upgraded capability, if provided to its allies in the region, would allow them to target areas close to Moscow. Also, the U.S. armed forces are currently working together to outline and execute Joint All-Domain Operations, JATO a concept that involves linking multiple sources across air, land, and sea to create a more cohesive force. The JATO concept is crucial for securing the U.S. and its allies, and Lockheed Martin is aiding all domain efforts by supplying tools and taking part in joint exercises. That's all for today. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching and see you next time.